guys we are doing this we are doing this yes pj still it on emmy just she bought new life to the franchise life this was a genius move by the producers and also by the production this is a value she bought even though in the other hand she's actually shelly 2.0 but she bring also a character of her own like a female version of it a lot better than that. i do love better than that this she's a classic also on her role it's beautiful these two characters just you know the big bang fairy will be a forever classic comedy to me <clears throat> it's beautiful it's beautiful like it's that beautiful moment this is the worst cobbler i've ever eaten ground up shoemaker <laughs> amusing a play on the two meanings of cobbler <laughs> hey guys Guess who I found at LAX? His sister. Jacked. You propose a guessing game, yet you don't give me enough time to guess. <laughs> That's right. Hey, your sister Priya. Yeah. Sheldon, you haven't changed a bit, have you? Why would I change? The hope has been that you'd eventually bend to public opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Brings you back to LA. I have a one day layover on my way to Toronto. Corporate mojo. Little Priya is one of the lead attorneys planning an internship at a large Indian car company. It's actually extremely plausible. Poll numbers just keep dropping. <laughs> As a president, what? All of you, but first, I really must visit the loo. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, it's just a bullet. Without saying, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. Hands off my system. Touch her. She's covered with airplane. Mm, that's not what he made. Remember what happened last time? So I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Oh. Hey, I've got a girlfriend now. Oh, please. My sister's much hotter than your girlfriend. I agree, they're both hot. But, dude, that's my sister you're talking to. You saw it is. <laughs> Hotter. The first time Priya came to LA, Leonard and I made a pact out of respect to our French you that neither of us would hit on her. I don't know about Leonard now. Pinky Sway? Yes. Pinky Sway? Who five years old now? Cobbler. I'm still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you again, Leonard. Good to see you too. Here you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kiss, kiss her back. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 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 indeed, yo, man, bro, you, you don't get a job with that, she's pretty, man, she's pretty, she's a damn pretty. Well, not really, just hang out. I always tell people, if you have only one day in Los Angeles, make it a train day. Oh, you love train, we get it. The fun starts with brunch at Carney's Murdered Railroad Dining Car. The next stop, 43 Railroad Engines, Cars, and other rolling stock. Finally, we're off to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Different converted railroad dining car. I don't think we're going to do that. <laughs> no one would do that. Only chili. Priya's not back yet? Well, I guess that's not unusual. Women, men. And the whole city. Ejected train day. Did you make it clear that it's two different train and hot dogs? Abundantly. <laughs> I guess he just hates fun. What's <laughs> 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 wrong with you guys? I have a girlfriend now. For you? Yeah, I just want to put it out there in case I inadvertently squirt any pheromones. Oh my days. Happy? <laughs> Well, what are your plans while you're here? No, no, I just have the one day. Do you like train? Oh gosh. Not particularly. <laughs> Stop that! Stop I that! Wait at the airport for your flight. <laughs> there is quicksand to the west. A path leads to the east. Go east. <laughs> An iron gate blocks your way. Open the gate. gate. Oh. Well, so much for that. <laughs> it's getting pretty late. How come you're still up? I found an emulator online that lets you play classic text-based... Let me go plan with Priya. Hmm. Yes. It runs on the world's most powerful graphics chip, Imagination. You've really got to get out more. Go north. You can't go that way. A troll blocks your passage. Okay, fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> what? The sword. Golly, it's as if it's actually happening to me. Sheldon's still up. He goes to bed at night. Yeah, he does, but he got caught up in a computer game. Troll 
with axe. Come on, man. You call Blackie my boy, man. Let him go sleep, Chili. With axe. Oh, my. This is one tough troll. Did you get rid of him? If the past is any indication, no. This is dragging me down. Drop axe. Brilliant. Give me a minute, Sheldon. Hold on. Figure out how to get the bucket so I can carry the mud past the dragon. Sheldon, you need to work in the morning. Good, mister. Five more minutes. You're going to risk getting sleepy in the middle of your thermodynamic fluctuation seminar? You know what happens when you yawn in public? Uh-oh. <laughs> Everyone will see my oddly shaped <laughs> I don't want that, do you? No. No. But it's a shame our society mocks the differently uvulated. No. How do we? Who was at the door? Uh, building manager. Uh, they have to fix a pipe, so uh, the water will be off tomorrow from noon to two. That's unacceptable. We're supposed to be given written notes. Oh, no. There will be a work. What if I spill tomato soup on my shirt and have to come home? Oh, no. Potato uvula, Sheldon. I'll have the chicken noodle. Good night. But I have to be very quiet. It's too good to get cold, man. I know how to get the bucket. I can turn this around. <laughs> Oh no, a... You are in a forest. Go north. Go, Go north. I believe I'm lost. Well, I'll just have to get a fresh start tomorrow. Three times? Yes. Uh, you're right, you're lost. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, is... she's breathing. Oh. Leonard, wake up. Huh? I don't know. When I'm in bed with a girl, it's just it's my go-to response. <laughs> <laughs> it was that way. It was that way. I'm gone. Oh, right, sure. You could stay in LA a while longer. Mm, me too. No, I was thinking, there are some great research facilities in India. Oh. Where are you going with this, Leonard? Yeah, Leonard. One night, that's it. I don't have any real ties here, so if I were to move to New Delhi, we could go out. After one sex? Leonard, didn't we have this conversation five years ago? Well, yes, but things have changed. You know, you're older, I'm older, superhero bed sheets. Just because we have fun when I come to town doesn't mean I want to have a... When she comes to town? Doesn't. Mm-mm. Besides, I could never bring a white boy home to my parents. <laughs> That's a number of rules. It's a much bigger deal in India. Not that white. My great great grandmother was half Cherokee. I know that's not the right kind of Indian. <laughs> <You're> funny. <laughs> Leonard? Who are you talking to? I heard a woman laughing. Uh, yeah, I was trying to see if I could laugh as a woman. Oh, well, good job. Quite convincing. <laughs> Air freshener. And is that lipstick on your cheek and neck? Rash. That's a bad rash. I'm no stranger to the crimson skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Pickle steroid from my lotion and unguent collection. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that sounds great. Very well. I'm sure I can find something that will help you ditch that itch. You gonna go caught? Do you prefer ointment or cream? With or without a numbing agent, Rose, when it comes to dermatitis, <laughs> prescription or non-prescription strength? Well, I think I have a nice acutely inflamed hemorrhoids, but it also goes nicely with non-mucosal body parts. If Raj is outside the door, yeah. Good morning, Sheldon. For shame, Leonard. <laughs> For shame. <laughs> and to think, I was ready to waste the last of my good hemorrhoid cream on you. <laughs> oh, no, man. he cannot keep secret. He cannot keep a secret. Is that really what you want to talk about, Leonard? Don't tell anyone I spent the night with Raj's sister. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> what if someone asks? I'm going to ask if I spent the night with Raj's sister. Perhaps. But they might ask me something else. Like what? Has Leonard betrayed any of his friends recently? Oh. Adults didn't betray Raj. He did, but I was referring to Howard. Wait, what? April 12th, 2005, Bob's big boy. Raj had just introduced us to Priya for the first time. <laughs> Of a Bob super big. Oh, they made a promise, isn't it? To preserve your friendship, you and Howard made a pinky swear. Oh no. Him to woo her. Why can't you remember that? Patty melt. Okay, fine. I betrayed Howard and Raj. All right, and Raj and me. Wait, what? Why are you coming? What Violation you? of the roommate agreement. <laughs> 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 
Fine, I, I'm a horrible human being. I'm the Darth Vader of passage. Far too short to be Darth Vader. At best, you might be a turncoat Ewok. My point is, Priya's gone, and it would be much better if no one else found out about us. Do you mean you want me to keep a secret? Oh, no. You know I can't keep a secret. You can if you try. If I were Batman and you were Alfred, you'd keep that secret, right? Why did you get to be Batman? <laughs> That's where you go from this? But Alfred has secrets too. Like what? Alfred knows that Barbara Gordon is Batgirl, which I've now just told to Batman. See, I cannot keep a secret. Ta -da. Wait, what's this? Agreement of agreement? It's short for da da da. -da. Kind of busy here, Sheldon. I know. That's why I shortened it. I came to go over your alibi. Oh my days. What alibi? Oh yeah, he does go extra. Make up the secrets. Behalf. And as you know, I am deeply uncomfortable with dishonesty. So, I've provided you with an ironclad alibi. Last night with Priya, because you were with another woman. Oh my days. <laughs> Regret this, but who was I with? The fun-loving and morally loose Miss Maggie McGarry. <laughs> you know what is. You know you got to to keep secret. Tending bar with a head full of curls and a heart full of dreams. Call me if you're interested in coitus. That sounds like Shadow Sheldon, bro. Sincerely, Maggie McGarry. Anyone were to actually call that number. Top of the morning to you. You've reached Maggie McGarry. <laughs> It's pretty convincing, huh? No. Been a real person. The clincher, a lock of auburn hair. That. From an orangutan in the primate lab. No one's going to run a DNA test on it, Leonard. Honestly, you overthink everything. No, you're the one doing it right now. I need an alibi. Nobody's going to ask about last night as long as you just zip your lip. Thank you. Now, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Hey, Leonard, will you please tell Howard my sister's never been attracted to him? Come on, Raj. How am I supposed to know who she's attracted to? Who she might be attracted to? <laughs> Why is it? Oh, no. And I have nothing to contribute to this conversation. <laughs> because I, too, know absolutely nothing no, about no, Priya. No. <laughs> and with that, I will reset my lips. <laughs> Uh, Did you guys think of the new episode of Caprica last night? Didn't see it. What were you doing? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, use, use. <laughs> wow. What, on Caprica night? Yeah, I, I went for a drink. Really? <laughs> you? <We're> <laughs> <laughs> Pasadena's favorite Irish. <laughs> Did you meet anyone interesting there? Perhaps. Uh... I, as a matter of fact, I, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't do it. You can. No. You're doing fine. It's very believable. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raj, but the truth is, I was with Priya last night. He's still lightheaded from all the Irish whiskey and pickled eggs in his system. <laughs> And his story, would you have found it? Do you have a sister? Yeah. Excuse me, I think how could you be the president of a five year old pinky swear? And you have a girlfriend, Howard. I, I admit it. I, I may have crossed a line here, but come on, Raj. There is a grown woman. To her, I'm a forbidden piece of white chocolate. She is. It is to her. This is a terrible betrayal of my trust. No, 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 would it help if I told you that I offered her my heart and, and she kind of stomped on it? How hard did she stomp? That <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> well, Raj, I just want to say that I never Shut up. betray your trust. You okay, have. Leonard? Really? Mm. <laughs> Was it out of respect that you didn't tell Raj about the time you dropped his iPhone in a urinal? <laughs> <laughs> convinced him that foreigners give presents to Americans on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Giving back to Snoopy Snow Cone Maker. <laughs> that was all a lie. This year's gifts are already wrapped. About betraying our uh -oh. friends. How about the month Sheldon spent grinding up insects and mixing them into Leonard's food? Uh -oh. That was an experiment to determine at what concentration food starts tasting. Oh no! You put moths in my food? For science. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's better now? I can't you kissed my sister with moth mouth. What? <laughs> I can't believe you used Sheldon's toothbrush. You used my toothbrush. <laughs> you did a thing to pick food from my teeth. Oh, no, no, my no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> The, the certain... I, I, I think it's safe to say that we've all done some things we're not particularly <laughs> proud of. Let's overlook each other's minor lapses. The but the toothbrush was shot. I'm Shelly. I don't think you're overlook at that. I'm sorry about your phone and Thanksgiving. And while we're at it, you don't have to wash our clothes on the 4th of July. <laughs> as long as we're apologizing, Sheldon, I'm, I'm sorry I used your toothbrush. And I'm sorry. The pain will not be sorry. <laughs> I do it. No I do it. He, he, he cannot buy a bus, though. I'm going to a for Thanksgiving. With real puffing smoke? Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. Yeah. Hey, you got Snoopy out. Can I have a snow cone? Oh, wait. Can you trust him? Very good. What flavor is this? Guess. <laughs> No. Guava? You're so close. I give up. Mango caterpillar. He says you liked it. He says you liked it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> guys. Guys. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> it's safe to say none of them are perfect. <laughs> none of them can keep a secret. Yeah, but thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you indeed, guys. It's it's I'm, season four, my day season four. Start with the bang. We're we're literally episodes five. I think that that was episode five. Yeah, episode six. We're literally episode six and. I cannot stop laughing. My jaw is hurting, guys. My jaw is hurting, man. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you again. I will keep saying thank you. I will keep saying thank you. Guys, thank you for tuning in. And there you go again. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Welcome you. Peace.